hold Jack Stevens and Kevin Danso to defence. Stuart Armstrong into midfield, while Sofiane Bufal and Shane Long will fill the two striking positions. Well, he's got a famous name, a great old legend of Manchester City, Tommy Doyle, who is this 18-year-old's grandfather, as is another Manchester City legend, Glyn Pardo. But what a night for 18-year-old Tommy Doyle. Well, what an evening it is for the captain of Southampton, Pierre-Emil Hoibieg, who said it was completely unacceptable and embarrassing that defeat against Leicester. But tough periods, he says, makes for tough people. We never want to be in this position again or anywhere near it. Sergio Aguero will be looking to take advantage of any slipshod defending that may still be hanging over from Southampton in that crushing defeat against Leicester last Friday. Aguero skippering City this evening. Alex McCarthy would certainly have felt for his fellow goalkeeper Angus Gunn in conceding nine. I think the goalkeepers' union would have been collectively feeling for Angus Gunn, who conceded that number of goals against Leicester. McCarthy has played more times in the Premier League than any other Southampton goalkeeper in the last couple of seasons, but has recently lost his place to Gunn. Opportunity for McCarthy to shine here. Referee Jonathan Moss who took charge of the 2019 League Cup final last season when Manchester City defeated Chelsea on penalties. So away we go then, Manchester City in their famous sky blue shirts, white shorts, white socks, left to right in the first half. This is the third successive home game for Manchester City, who, by a strange quirk in terms of fixtures, will welcome Southampton again here in the Premier League this coming Saturday. Expect to see City have their usual dominance of possession here at the Etihad. Interesting to see Southampton's game plan, whether it's to just stay as solid as they can for the opening 20 minutes, get a foothold into this tie and then try and build from there. Looks as though Southampton are playing three central defenders, but surprisingly the captain, Hoybier, is playing in the left wing-back position. It's a strange role for him. Hoybier is definitely playing at left wing-back normally plays in the centre of midfield. It's interesting to see how he settles into this new role. Here's uh, Kyle Walker. And now Silva, only one of the Silvers starting tonight, Bernardo. David amongst the substitutes. And the goal kick goes to Southampton. Manchester City manager says and really felt for Hassan Huttle as every manager would do after what this man experienced last Friday dumbfounded and he's had to lift his players the best that he could and I think the sooner they got out on the pitch the better to try and address the balance to some degree it'll still take a while yet to get that result fully out of the Saints system. It's worth noting they conceded six here in the Premier League last season. Here's uh, Bernardo Silva. It's good movement here from Manchester City. Aguero. Now Angelino. Otamendi. Walker, Aguero, this is Mares, 
Plenty of room here for Angelino. Ball given away rather cheaply by Foden. Southampton not been out of their own half in the opening exchanges. Otamendi. Decent run this for Mares. Well, his first touch was decent, but he was just running out of room in the end. But it was a delightful offer from Mares, and the weight of the pass was perfect from Otamendi. He was clearly onside, just needed more room off his first touch, didn't get it. Mares has been impressing Pep Guardiola, though, of late. It's really now. Woken up to what's expected in the colours of Manchester City, his work rate has improved. Guardiola demanded it. But it's a strong Manchester City side. Uh, under 21s are playing at Bolton Wanderers tonight, so a few of the talented youngsters in that team might have been called up tonight had they. Under 21's not been in action. As evidence is overwhelming that City take this competition seriously. They've won it in four of the past six seasons. Manchester as a whole have had a stranglehold on the League Cup because, of course, Southampton were beaten just a few years ago by uh, Manchester United in the final. They played very well in it. I recall 3-2 it finished for United on the day. is uh, Jesus Walker it's a good switch from Carl Walker just looking to use their whip here Manchester City Angelino, now Otamendi, Manchester City centre-backs playing like midfielders in the minutes we've had so far, this is Mares, first test really for McCarthy and it was a routine save, loves to cut in though Riyad Mares from that right-hand side onto his favoured left foot, playing with a lot of confidence at the moment. Hoybier, who loses out the Southampton captain, break is well and truly on here for City, Danso with a clearing header, here's uh, Jesus, Walker, Walker should be a little coming together there, but the possession stays with Manchester City. Angelino with a cross. And the attack stays alive here in the shape of Mares. Faced up by Hoybier. Otamendi. Angelino. Is Garcia to Otamendi. Jesus, chance to run at Jan Valery. Support here from Angelino. Excellent cross. Oh, McCarthy got lucky there. He punched it into his own man there. Bednarek. And he's breathing a sigh of relief here, McCarthy. Watch how he comes. Now, can he catch this? Goes for the punch. 
It's uh, ricocheted initially off Bednarek. And now Mares. Otamendi to Angelino. Now Jesus. Pass just a, a little tight for Aguero to control. Kevin Danso with the Southampton throw, currently on loan from the German club Augsburg. Virtually no service to the front two for Southampton in the opening nine minutes, Long and Buffal. They're going to have to do an awful lot of running out of possession. Angelino, Otamendi. This is Walker. Well, I think Ralph Hassenhuttle will be pleased with the opening. Very nearly 10 minutes. His side haven't seen much of the ball, but their organisation has been markedly better, of course, than it was. And that thumping defeat against Leicester. Of course, they did lose a player as early as the 12th minute, Ryan Bertrand. But there have been a huge amount of work on the training ground since then. And of course, it is so difficult to play this style of game against Manchester City for 90 minutes and more. And remember, of course, that we will play to a finish tonight. If they're level at the end of normal time, we'll play 30 minutes extra. Southampton would bite your arm off to take this to extra time right now. There are no replays in the Carabao Cup, up to and including the semi-final this season. That's a corner. First of the match, conceded by Denso. City working it short, decent cover though from Southampton. Angelino struck that well. Good technique from the Manchester City left back. But it was nothing more than a simple pickup, really, for McCarthy. Kyle Walker. Mares. Well, missed badly there by Hoybier, but he's not punished for it. Mares giving the ball away rather easily. That's where Salampton have to be really careful. Bednarek, that was such a sloppy pass. When they get a ball like that, he wasn't under pressure. Have to hold on to it better than that. Otamendi, Walker. It's almost like a back seven for Southampton at times. Poibier will see that out. Well, not too many, if any, of these Southampton players would have had a 9-0 defeat on their CV before. A lot of home truths would have been delivered inside that dressing room at St Mary's and the fans certainly had plenty to say about it but full credit for making the long journey up on a Tuesday night a couple of shots from Manchester City on target but they've been comfortable saves from McCarthy from Mares and Angelino
Bernardo Silva. Cut out by Hoybier. Looking to release Shane Long. First little bit of passing put together by Southampton and then it was a simple pass for Jan Valery. It was Danso actually who was trying to find Valery. Aguero took that beautifully high on the chest. Just couldn't finally escape the clutches of Bednarek. Had he done so, he had options left and right there, the captain. No surprise to see Manchester City out of the blocks early this evening because Guardiola was particularly angry with their first half performance against Aston Villa at the weekend. He said we weren't bold enough with the ball or bold enough with our movement. They've had the ball almost constantly in the opening 14 or so minutes here. And their movement has been good. Guardiola went as far as saying we'd be more like a relegation team if we played like we did in the first half. That's late from Romeo. Referee John Moss will certainly, I think, have a word with Romeo after the challenge on Doyle. Here's Mares. Good looking cross. Just enough pressure from Denso on Aguero. Well, he did enough, Kevin Denso. He got the final touch, so it's a corner. The referee having a word as well with Romeo, but this was a delightful cross from Mares, and it was good defending in the end from Denso. John Moss had a quiet word with Romeo, but no card issued. Oh, that's a real waste of a corner kick. Young Tommy Doyle. Not quite what he intended. Jesus clearly obstructed. And Romeo having to tread carefully now. So already had one warning from John Moss. Walker. Garcia, Angelino, Jesus, back to Eric Garcia, only 18, the Manchester City centre back, Bernardo Silva to Mares, Angelino, seen plenty of the ball in this first half, Jesus. Aguero. Nicholas Otamendi. Jesus. Southampton will be happy with this. One of the Manchester City passing in front of their defence. All bases covered at the moment for the Saints. Angelino. 
breaks kindly for Angelina Yata. Really good stop from McCarthy. This is Walker. Crowd wanting a shot, non forthcoming from Manchester City. Certainly was an opportunity to strike a goal there. This is Bernardo Silva. Pressure building on Southampton. Angelino. City wanting a free kick. Referee saw nothing wrong with the challenge from Ganso. Given away by Valerie. Here's Aguero. Silva. Foden working at wide to Jesus. Has to settle for the corner. Every outfield player for Manchester City is within about 25 metres of the Southampton goal. Worked in by Foden, and the header's in! Manchester City lead! Nobody able to deal with Nicolas Otamendi. And just shy of 20 minutes. The Argentine has Manchester City 1-0 up. The lovely floated cross. He just wanted it more, didn't he, Otamendi? Two Southampton players within an area where they can close Otamendi out, but he bullied them. Romeo certainly didn't do enough. Absolutely no chance from Otamendi's header for Alex McCarthy. There was a little bit of dissent on the Southampton bench in the build-up to that goal. They felt there might have been a foul certainly Hassan Huttel was having words to say to the officials on this uh, near side but the goal stands Garcia Walker to the goal scorer Otamendi. Space here for Carl Walker. Extraordinary amount of possession for Manchester City. It's almost like Manchester City's formation is six in midfield and four in attack. And as I said earlier, at times Southampton look like they got a back seven. Clearly, from Southampton's point of view, the formula of this match is going to have to change. But at the moment, they've got more on their mind that. They don't want to concede another before half time. And here's that excellent cross. Just look, Otamendi 
between Bednarek and Romeo. Neither of these Southampton players doing anywhere near enough to prevent that opening goal for City. Certainly didn't look to be anything wrong in the challenge from Otamendi. First goal, incidentally, that Southampton have conceded in the competition this season. They beat Fulham in round two, 1 0 away, and then their South Coast neighbours, Portsmouth, at Portsmouth, 4 0 in the last round. Mares beautifully away from Hoybier, blocked by Romeo. Now, a little bit of room for Shane Long. Has to go to loan for the time being. He's held up very well by Ottomendi. City, of course, have their defensive problems at the moment. Emmerich Laporte, his long-term injury, as uh, Rodri is out at the moment as well, and Zinchenko, the left-back. John Stones only just making his way back from a lengthy absence. And Fernandinho suspended tonight after being sent off at the weekend. He's been playing as a, a centre-back of late to fill the gaps that have been left by those aforementioned problems. Otamendi on the ball here has at times been the only fit senior centre-back. That's why young Garcia has been brought in. a player Southampton need to get on the ball as much as possible Ward Prowse he is somebody that can deal with it get his head up and see the possibilities but they just cannot get any concerted possession Southampton Angelino with the throw Corner conceded by Romeo. Foden winning the argument there. Otamendi hunting another. Doyle and Foden working another short corner. Fed in by Mares. Manchester City's form has certainly picked up since the international break. You remember that 2-0 defeat here against Wolves just before that last international break. Since then, it's been three wins in a row. Goals have started to flow again. Angelino. Fed in by Foden. It was an excellent cross. Poibier. Rather fortunate there to get the better of Maris. One back by Walker. Here's Bernardo Silva. Harmlessly through to McCarthy in the end. A little bit of respite for Southampton defensively. not 
been anywhere close to getting an attempt on target so far, Southampton. Buffal losing out to Doyle. Good early ball forward here. Stevens beaten to it by Jesus. It's good defending in the end by Danso. It's coming straight back at Southampton. Foden to Angelino. Foden again. Garcia, Walker, Silva, Jesus, Atamendi just leaning on long, Here's Buffal. Danso. Shane Long. Flag stays down. Southampton with players in challenging positions, but the cross was shallow from Shane Long. Here's Danso. Romeo. Poibier is free on this side, but not used, at least for now. Here's Bednarek. Dancer. Long, I think, just thought he was going to be offside there, so didn't really challenge for that ball forward. This is Mares. to Mendy, Walker, so worried Southampton's players to come out of their positions to really press the ball early, it's giving Manchester City players a lot of time to pick out their passes, Angelino, Silva. This is a rarity for players of the calibre of Manchester City to have so much time on the ball. Felt a skill to nature of the Premier League, but Southampton fairly passive up to now. And trailing by a goal to nil, scored by Nicholas Otamendi. Well, he'd love to win this competition again. It's uh, well down the pecking order, of course, behind uh, the Premier League and the Champions League. Six-point gap to Guardiola City and Liverpool in the Premier League at the moment. They're playing catch-up for a change. Gets the free kick in the end. Referee was just waiting, John Moss, to see if any advantage accrued there for the Jesus. And a yellow card for Romeo. It's the totting up process. He might have got one a few minutes ago, but uh, not escaping that one, Oriol Romeo. Spaniard sees the yellow card. Garcia. Angelino. It's a push. Quickly spotted against Buffal. It's a poor challenge, really, from Sofian Buffal. 
right under the nose of referee Moss. Mares and Aguero, Silva, just having a little chat about how they should proceed over this set piece. It's a very inviting position, isn't it? Now you see this a lot these days, a new rule that came into football at the start of this season where you have to be at least a metre away from the wall. So they are, and often they put the attacking players in front of the wall just to make it difficult for the goalkeeper to get a sight of the shot. It can be very difficult for goalkeepers now to see these free kicks whipped in with so many players masking his sight. It is Aguero! Most of this stadium, including your commentator, was rather expecting the net to bristle there, but I think it's fairly comfortably wide in the end. Yes, there's no trouble there for McCarthy. Not one of his best. Manchester City's possession, Southampton still only 1-0 down. But they have been nowhere close to threatening Claudio Bravo's goal in the opening 34 minutes. Jesus is trying to shuffle that into the path of Aguero. Aguero on the march again, it's cut off by Bednarek. Polish international, Jan Bednarek. is Mares Walker this is Foden away by Jack Stevens Doyle pattern of the game has remained the same since the opening kickoff. Oh, it's a lovely run from Mares. Hoybier completely caught by the run. Does look a little uncomfortable in that left wing back position, the Southampton captain. He's not checking those runs from Mares. Jesus Garcia Walker Mares skips away from Hoybier came rather quickly at Bernardo Silva couldn't do much with that Mares Certainly has the beating of Hoybier on this side. Has shown that on several occasions. Bernardo Silva unable to test McCarthy. Eric Garcia. Rare touch for Bravo. Angelino. Now Jesus. Doyle to Bernardo Silva. Nice move from Manchester City in by Walker. Wonderful goal. Right out of 
of the top draw from Manchester City. A real team goal. Southampton could have had 15 players on the pitch and they might not have been able to deal with that. High quality. Beautiful movement and passing. Jesus at the heart of it here. Bernardo Silva. And then Walker on the overlap. And the cross delightful. And a first time finish unerring from Sergio Aguero. Manchester City 2, Southampton 0. And Southampton simply with no answer. Well, that's a goal that would have had the manager, not him, but his opposite number purring, that's for sure. And he must be starting to get a little twitchy now, Ralph Hassenhuttle. Superb team goal from City. Manchester City at their best. Angelino. Still that same pattern, they're so frightened to come out of their, their box, if you like, their positions, in case there's gaps left. As a consequence, they're still having three or four seconds on the ball, these Manchester City players. And then really take you to the cleaners if it carries on like this. McCarthy having to beat away the shot there from Foden. Here's Angelino. Stevens with the initial header, helped further clear by Jan Valery. Otamendi. Angelino. Mares, lovely pass to pick out Angelino, starting to find the gaps now, City, McCarthy brought into action again. It won't be his last save tonight, I fancy, Alex McCarthy. Using the width to good effect again there. Equal to the shot from Bernardo Silva. Forward by Silva, dropped towards uh, Danso, now Romeo. The referee's given Manchester City the free kick, it was handballed by uh, Buffal. Mares. Doyle, Aguero, Jesus, just didn't see Buffal coming in behind him, this is Angelino, it's an unattended take for McCarthy, he's seen so much of the ball, Angelino, he's been more like a left winger than a left back in this first half.
Otamendi. Space for that man Angelino again. Manchester City bought him back after selling him not long ago to PSV Eindhoven. It did so well out in the Eredivisie. Angelino that City decided to exercise a buyback option. 22 year old. First joined Manchester City when he was 16. Otamendi. Jesus. Shown the outside route by Valerie, and Jesus takes that. Is he in the corner? Yes, he has. As we're heading towards a minimum of one minute additional time at the end of a Manchester City dominated first half Otamendi fancying another before the break so into that one minute additional time here's Doyle excellent cross from Tommy Doyle flags up for offside Well, at least if you can pick up any meagre crumbs from the table for Southampton. It's not as damaging a scoreline as it was last Friday at half-time against Leicester. And they've got 11 players on the pitch. But uh, four or five of them have barely had a kick up to now. Closing moments of this first half. Referee John Moss decides that will be enough in this Carabao Cup. Fourth round tie at the Etihad Stadium. A first half in which Southampton went behind to a close range header from Nicholas Otamendi, who bullied Romeo and Bednarek to head his side in front. And Sergio Aguero at the end of a wonderful team move on the end of a Kyle Walker cross to make it 2 0. A half in which Southampton have not had a single touch inside the Manchester City penalty area. That, from their perspective, simply has to change. Half time, Manchester City 2, Southampton 0.